guys, it's Simon with the video. Today, I'll be bringing you a review on set 40557, the Hoth Rebel Trooper minifigure pack. This set comes with 64 pieces and came out this year in 2022. So first up, here is the packaging. I wouldn't call it a box, but it's kind of like the packaging that it comes in. And then here are the instructions. So let's get into this set, starting with the minifigures. First up, we have our first Hoth Rebel Trooper. Now, just a typical, regular Hoth Rebel Trooper. She comes with a long rifle, and um, not too, too much to say. Uh, she does have leg printing, which uh, one of them doesn't, but uh, no foot printing on any of them, because they're doing foot printing a lot recently, so I just thought I'd mention that there's no foot printing on them. But yeah, they still got the older style uh, like visor piece, the older style helmet, and... Uh, yeah, it definitely looks uh, still pretty good to this day. I think the Rebel Troopers definitely have kept good looks. I do think the visor piece is a little big, but other than that, I definitely think they're pretty good figures. So let's move on to the next one. Here we have our second Hoth Rebel Trooper. He comes with a long rifle as well, and he comes with white binoculars, which I like kind of how they're doing that uh, these days with like color coding the like binoculars and different little accessories like that. Like kind of how they did with the uh, the Hoth ATST with the ATSC pilot having white binoculars as well. I do like that because, I mean, it kind of adds some realism to the set in that, like, they're trying to get a certain, like, look of binocular to blend in with their surroundings so that they won't be seen as easy. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think this figure looks good as well. Pretty similar to the last one, just a different head because it's a different person, and then he does have binoculars, and the other Rebel Trooper did not. So let's move on to our final Trooper. Here we have our final Rebel Trooper. Now this guy takes definitely a different look. He still has a long rifle just like the others, but he, uh, he's he he's got a fully different outfit, no leg printing and a completely different torso. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's got a different face obviously. And then, yeah, I would say that's about it. Just a different looking Rebel Trooper, but a good, di good difference there. I guess there's a good variation in the set when it comes to the Rebel Troopers, because you don't want them to all have the exact same outfit because, I mean, they're rebels, so they're not as organized and as unified as, like, the stormtroopers are. But, yeah, it definitely looks pretty good, so let's move on to the set. So here we have the set. I won't remove the minifigures because they just add to the look here, but the set here is very, very small. So one thing I will address really quickly is that piece count. Now, a lot of people are not going to be happy about that because price per piece is not even close with this set. And I think one thing that Lego sees here is that people want this set for the minifigures and two people minifigures are more valuable. So people will pay a decent bit even for less pieces, but for minifigures. And I think they're definitely capitalizing off that. And I think these minifigure packs are big money makers for them. People will buy a lot of them for armies and they don't have to make as many pieces because everyone just wants the minifigures and not the build. So. I mean, it's, it's it's unfortunate. I really do not think these sets should be $15. They should be $10 at most because, again, price per piece isn't even close. And I know price per piece isn't everything, but, I mean, it, it it's kind of structured a lot of sets over the entirety of LEGO's time. So, like, I, I, I really don't know. But overall, I think this set is pretty good. So let's get into some of the first little features we have here. We do have a couple of these blasters. I don't know if these are supposed to be e-webs or not. I don't think so but there are certain probably repeating blaster and uh they definitely look interesting i don't i don't know they're i feel like they're a little lackluster they literally only come with how many is this three four five six seven pieces um so yeah seven pieces to make this um yeah i don't know i do like though if let's say you're to buy a bunch of these sets you get a bunch of blasters so it's got three blasters on the bottom and you get two of these blasters here these e-web blasters and um, I definitely think that's uh, definitely worth it there. But then you get a little like battery pack or something for it. Uh, I don't exactly remember what this is for. It's maybe for like charge or something, but that is there as well. And then you do get this cannon. Uh, it's a smaller version of the cannons on Hoth that they have. I don't know, the satellite dish cannons and it definitely looks decent. Um, it's not my favorite look. I think they could have done better with it, but it looks all right. I mean, it's... It, it, it's another addition to the build, so, I mean, I think it does its job, but, yeah, um, not, not too much to say about it. It does rotate, as you can see on this little, like, snowbank here, 
you can raise or lower the gun and then you can also raise or lower like the control pad there with some handlebars there for someone who's controlling it. But yeah, that is about it for this set. So let's finish out this review. Well, that is going to about do it for this set review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video. If you like the review, comment down below your thoughts on the set and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So my final thoughts on this set, I think this set overall is a pretty good set. I think it comes with good minifigures and decent enough builds. I know the minifigures are the most important in the set, and that's why people buy it and not for the build. So I won't take away this thing's points because of the builds and their kind of lacklusterness, but this set has been a little difficult to talk about, especially the minifigure part, because I know there's so many people out there who are all like upset about the face colorings and the genders of the figures, which in my opinion, I could care less. Who cares? It's a minifigure. Why do you care so much? I don't care if you think it needs to be super, super accurate. Just replace the heads. I mean, sure, you have to go out of your way and buy different colored heads because you're a racist piece of crap and you want to change out the heads. Who cares? I don't give a crap at all. I, it, it, it's stupid, this entire argument of, oh, the figures have to be white and they have to be male because that's all we saw in Hoth. That is not true. That is not true at all. If you look throughout the entire scenes, you'll see a few women and you'll see a few colored people. It does not matter what skin color they are. Who cares? Change the goddamn heads if you are that racist and that much of a piece of shit. So that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I just wanted to get that elephant out of the room because it was a little difficult to talk about there. I didn't want to like mention their races or anything to sound racist because I really could care less. They're just figures, but I don't know. But overall, the set is decent. The price per piece thing really does suck. I think these sets should be $10. And um, yeah, that's going to be about it for the set review. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.